Everybody, we are on the water. I'm uh, revived, ready to go. The water looks nice and clean. I took a couple days off. After last Saturday, we had a sleigh fest up north. I took a spill on the way on the way there. <laughs> it fell on my ass, and man, my left arm was super sore. So I took a couple days to rest. And I'm feeling okay today. And now I got the uh, 805 Salty Ripper tied on, motor oil red, Carolina rig. I can see the boys down about, I don't know, about 100 yards or so. But I just saw this hole, get a first cast in real quick, get it over with, burn one. And uh, work my way down. But yeah, water looks really clean. Um, I believe we have incoming tide right now. It's gonna be high tide probably around noonish, I think. So we still got, you know, a good uh, two hours or so, uh, three hours before uh, peak high tide. So it's good conditions. Uh, there's a bite right there. There we go. Hey, we're on, you guys. Second cast. Oh, did it come off? Yeah, I think she came off. That's a good sign. Already getting bit. The guys, uh, Jimmy, uh, called Jimmy. He said uh, they're just slaying them here all morning. But I had to wait back uh, and come a little later because I had some things to take care of first thing in the morning. But, uh, yeah, conditions are still good. So we got Jimmy over there. We got Jesse. He's one of the new guys fishing with us. We got Drew and the crew over there. The 805 bait slayers right there. Uh, I believe Corey is over there with him. I believe Corey has a YouTube channel as well. I'm trying to think. It's. It, I want to say it's uh, Shoreline Corey. I'm not sure. Well, I'll hit him up and ask him. You guys want to go check his channel out too. He fishes uh, out this area, SB area. 805 baits so yeah you want to check him out he's got some good stuff but anyways yeah we're right here fishing this spot jimmy's caught uh almost a 13 already and quite a few other smaller ones uh drew's been out here slaying them as well oh there's a nice hit and uh but yeah we're out here we're trying to find a slab right now they're here this beach holds a lot of big perch. And but like I said, I got the Carolina rig set up right now. Um, I got really light, really light braid. I got 12 pound braid with a 10 pound test uh, floral. A lot heavier than I normally go with. I normally go six pound test floral, but uh, I kept getting broke off with some big ones. So I just bumped it up not gonna take that chance uh, and I got the uh, two inch salty ripper motor oil tied on right now we go, we go. we're on we're on we're on we're on we're on oh buddy oh buddy <laughs> That's a slab! <laughs> there we go, here we go. What's up, Drew? What's up, Drew? What's up, Drew? <laughs> What's up, Drew? <laughs> Uh, yeah. Right there on the 805 Salty Ripper, you guys. See, I get this hook out. Guys, there it is. Nice fatty on the 805 Salty Ripper right there. 
probably a good 13 and a half probably. Ooh -wee. Oh my bad, watch your finger. Watch your finger. There you go guys, we're gonna let the release. We just measured the mile, it's about 14 inch perch right there you guys. Beautiful perch. Get the release. There he goes. Yeah, yeah. 805 Salty Ripper, you guys. Go get him. Alright, again, you guys. There's like a smaller one. The tide's coming way up right now. Right there, little guy. Just walking back to the to the front, fan casting the beach, and got smacked again. This is another decent one. Ah, that's a small one, but it's still bigger than the other one I just caught. There we go. On the geo crawl, you guys. Right there, it's probably about an 11. This is my only one I have right now. <laughs> and it's all tore up. I just keep re-rigging it, re-rigging it, re-rigging. It's got one one crawl leg on it that's about it all right there you go beautiful uh southern california bark perch don't let this guy go there's another bite that was a good hit we'll come back for it Every time I get a bite like that, I stop my kind of stop my retrieve and I slow it down a bit. I'll even tap my rod tip up and down and create that little tap noise underwater with the uh, bead and the weight. Sometimes it'll get their attention uh, back to the bait, you know, and they'll come back for it. Because sometimes they'll lose the bait in the surf. It was like a small one. Tried to try a few different baits, wasn't getting bit. So I ended up swapping the bait back onto the uh, two inch salty ripper, the motor oil, and got bit. Small one though, but it's starting to get bit again. The tide's uh, coming way up already compared to how it was before. But they're still home, small ones, but they're still home. Let's run another one. Working our way back to the truck. We're gonna go get something to eat. And we're just kind of fishing on the way back and getting a bunch of bites, a bunch of small ones like this on the way back. That biggest one was a 14 so far, right there. The rest of them have been small like this. The tide's almost all the way up. What's up? That doesn't matter to me. We gotta head north anyways to turn around. 